show you how to make a decorational small ice head. On this one I've already done some work and it's actually really really simple. What you need is a toilet roll. I already cut some pieces of this one. I first tried it with a knife but um, as you see I had a hard time maintaining a straight line and it went a lot better although not perfect with the scissors and if it's um, dent it bent whatever that's not really an issue because once you put a rope around it it will uh, get back into shape and it's much easier to get it round again so um i think it's about three quarters of an inch that's a good size so you cut that off the toilet roll make it round again and this is what we'll be working on. This one is a little bit smaller than this one is, but I think that's even better. But you know, do it to your own taste if you like a smaller rim or a larger rim. Then peak, uh, cut pieces of rope for this one. I'm using now uh, pieces of rope that's, that are about 11 inches. And it's easier to trim it off if you notice that it's too big than to put rope on. So I would say 11 maybe 10 inches but nothing smaller than that so I already got a piece here I'm using cotton rope with a uh, silver um, string through it so the easiest way to cut rope approximately the same length as this one right so it's not very scissors for that is to do it like this you fold it you get it at the same length cut it, all, keep, it, keep it all in your hand and I think you need about 40-50 also depending on the, the thickness of your rope but this one has 20 ropes in there now so this is going to need at least 50 I think so this is the way I go about cutting my rope and I'll return once I've done this Okay, so I cut another 30 pieces of rope and I'm going to work on this one that I had already been working on. It's really simple, you fold it in half, put it through the ring that you got from the toilet roll, go through it and pull and make sure to put it next to the others. And I'm going to trim this in the end because it's too long, so if it's not folded exactly in half and some pieces are a little longer than the other, that's okay. I would advise to trim in the end to make it uh, look good. So, fold in half. I think the kids, the kids are going to love this project. I think they will have a lot of fun and they will like the end result. They probably will want to hang it in their bedroom, so we'll see. It's easy, it's cheap, and it's quite fast to make, although I think the kids will have, uh, need more time doing this. But I think that I can make one in, I think, half an hour. Okay, I ended up using four more strings than I had cut. So 54 strings of rope in total. And that gave me some really good coverage on the hat. Now, to make it a real ice hat, you need to put some rope around here and make it a little longer so that you can hang it by it. And of course we need to trim the top of it so it's all even. I cut a somewhat longer piece of rope. I'll be doing the same thing that I did with the other ropes. I'm folding it in half, putting it around here. through. I have to 
make sure that it's not it's even on all sides. So this is what I can hang it from. And now I'm gonna trim this. I think this will make a nice ice head. So I'm cutting about an inch. I think we're only more than an inch off. And voila! The ice head. And now why I made this, um, in the vlog where I was putting away the Christmas stuff, or when I had put away the Christmas stuff, I told you that I really hate putting away Christmas decorations because I think it's cozy with all the decorations around and I really don't like winter that much. I like it when there's snow, you know, and ice, that you have some fun out of it, but I really hate the cold. And so this is a nice wintry decoration that's not uh, that you cannot just use at Christmas time. And since winter seems to be coming because we're expected to have some snow on Friday, although it probably will melt when it hits the gra ground, but still we will have snow on Friday. That's what they're saying now. I thought it would be a nice idea to make a wintry decoration and a decoration that's quite easy to make and that I think the kids will have a lot, a lot of fun making. So that's why I made this today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to smile because a smile brightens your day and the day of everyone around you. So smile and I'll see you again tomorrow.